Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're gonna learn in this video how to use the AIM-9, the gun, and the AIM-120 with air combat mode in the F-16. Let's start with the controls we're gonna be using today. The first one is TMS, Target Management Switch. Uh, the trigger to uh, fire the gun. Radar cursor axis. Enable depress, which will allow us to change the uh, slaving mode of the A9. Weapon release button to fire the uh, missiles. Dogfight switch, three position, first dogfight, then center, and missile override. Uncage switch to free up the uh, seeker head of our AIM-9. And finally, nose wheel steering, missile step button to uh, switch from AIM-9 to AIM-120. We can use the OSBs around the MFD to select the uh, different uh, combat modes. By default, 20 is selected, which is the HUD scan. Then 60 is a vertical mode. Next is SLU, where we can move the uh, search zone around. And BOR, which is straight ahead in a very precise narrow zone. So we can use these uh, OSBs to cycle through the uh, different ACM modes but I think you'll find much easier to go back to combat radar mode and uh, use the HOTAS switches on the F-16. Let's start by hitting the dogfight switch. It changes the symbology on our HUD and it starts at the top with no rad, which means the radar is currently not emitting. So we could be sneaking up on an enemy aircraft and either killing them with the guns or the AIM-9. Next down is the uh, AIM-9 uh, area of search, straight ahead. Just to the left is our current G-loading. Our current speed, which uh, with you see the little C to the right of our airspeed, which notes it's a calibrated airspeed. Uh, the position of our master arm switch, the master mode we're in dogfight, our altitude to the right, and the bottom right would be our uh, target uh, info block. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do here is just uh, bring the volume down of the AIM-9 a bit. And next thing we're gonna hit list. Miscellaneous, eight for bulls, select bullseye. Uh, that will give us info on our bullseye and the way we have to read it in the bottom left of our HUD is we are positioned from bullseye 035 for 88 miles. The uh, half circle you see is uh, the position, our relative position to the uh, earth. So as we uh, climb up the circle becomes smaller and as we dive down it, the circle becomes larger. It's a good way to uh, keep our situational awareness while we are fighting enemies. So let's do a loop and you'll see uh, the complete symbology. What we're seeing through the HUD as I'm doing the turn is the uh, gun funnel, which would be used to uh, destroy an enemy with the guns with no radar lock. We'll come back to it later. Let's talk about the air combat modes in dogfight. First one is uh, while using TMS up, we go into bore. Bore, uh, you have to put the enemy around that little cross in the center. 
and that will create a radar lock. If you're using the HMD and with the bore mode, an ellipse appears in your helmet mounted display and you have to uh, put the desired target inside that ellipse and if the radar is within its gimbal limits, it will automatically lock up that target. Next mode is the HUD scan, which we enter by pressing TMS right, and it scans the zone uh, roughly the size of what we see through our HUD. Next one is uh, vertical scan, which is entered by pressing TMS down, and the vertical scan is centered roughly 23 degrees above the uh, gun cross, and it scans 10 degrees wide and 60 degrees vertically. So a little below the nose to upwards into uh, the canopy. And the last, the last mode is the slew mode, which is entered by pressing or uh, moving the uh, radar cursor switch. And the altitudes or the numbers we see are the altitudes uh, covered by the uh, beam at five miles. We can lock up a target up to 10 miles in that uh, mode but the altitudes displayed are uh, the ones that are scanned at five miles. To achieve a gun skill without a radar lock, we're gonna use the uh, gun funnel, which is in the uh, center of our uh, HUD. And the goal will be to match the wingspan of the enemy to the span of the funnel. By default, the, it is uh, set at 33 feet. We can change it by hitting list, then five for man. And we can change the wingspan so that our funnel is more precise. Let's say our enemy has a wingspan of 40 feet. We press four, zero, enter. And now the funnel is uh, set to match a wingspan of 40. By shooting a few bursts of guns, we make our MiG-29 start to move and we can see how the funnel and airplane relationship works. When the wingspan of the enemy matches the wide part of the funnel, it means the airplane is roughly 600 feet away. And if it matches the narrow part of the funnel, it means the airplane is roughly 2,500 feet away. So of course, when the enemy's airplane looks smaller, it means it is farther away. And this is how we're going to use the size distance relationship to help us achieve a gun skill. When we spot a close by enemy aircraft, we go dogfight switch TMS up for bore air combat mode. And now we have a radar lock. You see the circle around the enemy's airplane with the uh, dash line now uh, coming counterclockwise. When we hit the uh, middle of the circle, that's 6,000 feet away. Full circle is 12,000. When we reach uh, gun distance, you're gonna see a circle appear right in the middle, right there. And this is that circle we need to put on the enemy's airplane before squeezing the trigger, which will assure a uh, gun skill. All right, let's talk more in detail details about what we see in the HUD during a gun's engagement. First is the uh, circle around the enemy's airplane with the uh, dash line. The top of the circle represents a distance of 12,000 feet. When the uh, little carrot starts coming counterclockwise, uh, at the nine o'clock position is 9,000 feet. At the bottom is 6,000 feet away and to the right is 3,000 feet away. Currently, the little carrot sits close to the nose of the MiG-29, so it's a distance which is confirmed by the fire control radar of 1,200 feet. The funnel will always be uh, visible to help us line up the uh, airplane for the gunshot. And the uh, circle you see here is the circle which should be on the enemy's airplane before squeezing the trigger. This is where the uh, bullets are going to go. 130 is our closer speed, and uh, we have a uh, distance scale of five miles. 
Next is the little plus sign represents uh, the the uh, where the bullets would go if the enemy's airplane wasn't maneuvering, if it was sitting at 1G. And the little minus sign represents where the bullets would go if the airplane was maneuvering at 9Gs. We're currently at 4.9Gs, so this is why the little circle is right in the middle. When the bullets leave the airplane, we get a new uh, symbol. Uh, that little circle right there is the predicted impact point of the bullets at the uh, at the time of flight. So the, this little circle is the one we know, the one we should be putting on the enemy's airplane before squeezing the trigger. And the other one around the circle represents where the bullets will impact at the time of flight. Let's take a look at an example in real time. You'll see that everything happens really quickly. Let's discuss the AIM-9 now. What we can hear is the AIM-9 staccato when it has a heat signature inside, but it's not good enough for a lock. If I press on cage, the uh, seeker head is now free to move and it gets a uh, much better lock. I can recage the missile again and you can hear the sound that changes. With a radar lock, I can press uncage, which will free up the seeker head of the AIM-9, which will go directly to the FCR directed target. And then all we have to do is wait for uh, the distance to come down a little bit and we can hit weapon release to fire our AIM-9. When things becomes really intense in a fight and we don't have to, time to play around with uh, the uh, combat modes and everything, we can use our helmet to uh, fire the HAIM-9. So here we have one target down and what we're going to do now is look for another one. We're going to press uncage to free up the uh, seeker head of our HAIM-9. And once we uh, get another target in sight, we're going to press cursor enable, press and hold. and. Uh, all we have to do is look at the target and then fire. This one has uh, missed, so we'll uh, try for another shot. So uncage the missile, press and hold, cursor enable, and then look at our target, put it in the uh, center of our sight, and once we get the tone, fire. In the next example, we'll have an enemy which is uh, a little too far uh, for our AIM-9. So what we're going to do is hit dogfight switch, TMS up for a bore mode, wait for the lock. Once the lock is achieved, we'll press missile override switch, make sure we're in firing parameters, and fire. This fight is not over. Let's hit dogfight switch again, TMS up to lock the next target, uncage to free the AIM-9, and fire. Two enemy airplanes down in a very short period of time. One with a 120, the other one with an AIM-9. Another way to use the AIM-120 is to go dogfight switch, TM is down. Once the lock is achieved, we press the missile step button to switch over to the AIM-120. Once we're within firing parameters, fire. All right, folks, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you next time. Good hunting.